on youtube is your boy ogt man and today we got kicks darkest secret has just been exposed by my boy kamarion Kim kamarion whichever one um yeah make sure to go support him dropped this two days ago but um yeah without that being said let's get started with this video i'm curious because they have made one of literally their biggest person leave after a year now it's starting to starting to light up the questions. What is they really doing over there in Kick? Boom. Let's get straight into the video. Hold up. Let's straighten that out. Ba -dee so bad that their own creators that they signed themselves are leaving the platform to go back to twitch that's the equivalent of getting cheated on by your ex getting a new girlfriend realizing that she is worse and going back to the ex that cheated on you the same dudes that were screaming f twitch are the same dudes saying f kick after spending some time on their platform and i don't blame them a few weeks ago the streamer bruce dropped him off one of the bigger signings on kick left kick to go back to twitch and this is what he had to say about the platform as a whole worst side being on kick for the year i'm not gonna lie to you it's the worst time i've ever had in streaming the beginning was cool but i learned so much behind the scenes from like being behind the scenes and knowing shit, and it just kind of up my love for streaming being on that site if i'm being honest with you because i got lazy and yeah you never probably seen the number that i was making an hour i ain't gonna say if it's true or not because that ain't none of y'all goddamn business but you know what i'm saying it, it killed my motivation for it because it, it was no creativity within it it's just do the craziest or you're lame or it's like go outside and argue with a with a with a n or you're lame <laughs> or suck a dick on stream or you're a n you're quilly and what he's saying makes sense because i mean when you hear about kick it's always something negative slash crazy last month you literally had to do drinking driving and speeding all for yeah no don't even do that say no to drinking and driving no. We don't do that around here. Ten. Since when was committing a felony content? That is insane. Hey, yo, bro, I get the craziest idea. Let's drink some Smirnoff, drive, and speed all on the freeway live on kick. What you thinking, dog? I'm not gonna lie. That sounds amazing. I'm grabbing the camera right now. Then you also got the Super Pedo Bros running a two-man with a young... Oh, yeah. No. Uh, brother. Uh. Girl, like the site as a whole is just hot garbage, and I honestly don't blame Bruce for leaving the website. You would think that Kick would get better by now because it's been through so much, but it's the complete opposite. Kick just gets worse and worse each and every month. Kick is so bad that recently an ex Kick staff member released a video basically exposing the whole company. One of the claims she made was that Kick has a terrible workplace environment, lots of disrespect towards people's opinions, hostile, and they just straight up drop a lot of slurs in office some of those slurs being the n-word with the hard r and the word that starts with an f that rhymes with maggot there was just a consistent disrespect to other people's opinions and beliefs um and this went as far as to just consistently hearing the f slur and not even just in jest like as a joke it was specifically you know targeted towards people that it was supposed to discriminate against even so much as to walk past the socials room the guys that run the you know kick streaming and kick community and hear the n-word just dropped hard R. And I'm like, what is this office? How? And, and they, they had the executive, like the, the upper management was in the room. I'm not surprised. Let's make a petition. All right. Let's make a petition. Get the whole site banned. Get it off the platform. Not even, not even just because of the, the, the slurs and everything, just because of the whole environment, the fact that it's promoting bad shit and people are just letting it go or like just letting it happen though make a petition ban kick nigga ban kick because i mean when you look at the streamers on the platform they do the exact same thing and they don't even get banned for it thank you guys Those order screens are so unhygienic all right well you probably haven't had food in six days Pizza Hut just changed the combo game with the new My Hut Box, starting at $6.99. Shut up. 
So I'm not surprised that the staff are also allegedly doing it as well. Another thing she said in the video was that Kick sent her a cease and desist letter and they also lied on her name because she claimed that she quit. Yet Kick was telling everyone that she actually got fired. Another reason why she said the workplace as a whole was terrible was because every second week she needed to work at home for a few hours to drop off and pick up her daughter from school because she didn't have anyone else to do that for her so she had to do it herself and kick told her that she couldn't have flexible working arrangements after some time and they were basically saying that she has to either pick between her daughter or this dookie website which that's absolutely insane because most jobs will allow you to make those arrangements but like i said i'm not really that surprised because i mean kick themselves they don't really care about their platform so what makes you think they're going to care about the workplace environment like let's be real here another thing she stated in the video was that some people at kick were actually bragging about lowering a special needs streamer's contract and she never said who this stream wow that's crazy Shit is insane. Was. But what she did say is that this special needs streamer was cooler with one of the bigger kick streamers. And if you put two and two together, you get Jake Future, who is a streamer with special needs, who streams on kick, and he hangs around Aiden Ross, one of the bigger streamers on kick. And what's crazy is that Jake Future actually put out a tweet after this saying that kick never lowered his deal. And if I'm being honest here, this just seems like some damage control because I mean, we got to keep in mind, this man is on a kick contract and he's getting paid hourly on the platform so why would he want to make the platform look bad i think that that man put that tweet out just to like play damage control you know another thing she claimed in the video was that kick was also trying to get this twitch streamer who had cancer over to kick and one of kick's strategies to get that twitch streamer over to kick was to utilize their cancer we were talking about the fact that they were trying to get a uh, a, a very beloved twitch streamer over to kick to stream stake as well and just for context this particular stream had been uh, publicly battling cancer recently. So they decided to utilize that um, in their strategy to get this person over. The conversation very quickly became quite sinister. I'm going to say a quote and something that I cannot get out of my head because it's so heinous to me. And I think it will speak volumes in, you know, the type of characters that, that work there, um, which is why I just... I had to get out. The quote that I remember hearing was, we can get her on kick streaming steak for a relatively low price because she probably thinks she's going to die soon and she'll want to leave more money for her family. When I heard that, I actually was surprised. I looked, sort of looked up in surprise and everybody else was sort of looking at this person that was speaking and just being like, yeah, you know, that's true. Let's go with that. Like, I think we can get this person. That is an insane strategy. That That's absolutely wild. She never said the streamer, but she used words like her and she. So I'm assume that the streamer was probably a girl. Some people suspected that the streamer that she was talking about was Kaede because Kaede is a streamer who's also a woman who also was publicly battling cancer. But XQC, a streamer who streams on Kick and Twitter, which quickly shut that down, claiming that there was no communication between Kaide and Kick. The Kaide clip was awful too. What Kaide clip? Well, I mean, well, I mean, it's awful. I I asked. There was no communication done to Kaide Everyone from Kick or Stake. But Kaide later came out saying that she got an offer from Kick, but she decided to decline because the offer didn't align with her morals. I got an offer from Kick and I declined it. I decided that morally I didn't really want to go so over way. to Kick. <laughs> And even if they, they did yeah, try to exploit me for my cancer, um, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to take it. I thought it was weird. Another thing that she stated in this video was that she had to fight tooth and nail to get the kick streamer Just Snags banned. And if you don't know who that is, well, he was basically a streamer who'd say these weird and obnoxious things while live to basically clip farm. I might take my security's gun off his hip and just shoot somebody. <laughs> You need fucking help. The world is good. You need fucking help. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I have to say right at this moment. Because what the fuck? God, I see. I don't care if he's 7, 8, 10. I don't care if he's fucking 30, 40, 60. I I'm clapping a nigga. Broad daylight. I might go to jail for the rest of my life today. Like, for a viral clip. You know me, nigga. And he would even say these things to young girls. You 14. 14. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So that what grade is that? Like a sophomore? Eighth grade. Sophomore. Eighth grade. Sophomore. Can I play with that? Sophomore's like sixteen. What? Can I play with that little eighth grade pussy? Can I? this nigga on every single fucking platform you can. No, I'm so serious. Ban him. Ban him! What Queso be saying? Find this man on every single streaming platform. I will make an account on every single platform that he's on to get this nigga banned! Cause ain't no way you just let that slip out of your fucking mouth. I don't care if it was click or not. You're disgusting. You need fucking help. Put that little eight grade pussy. Can I put that little eight grade pussy? And then he just think that shit like cool. Ew, what the fuck? And then he eventually got banned and said he was gonna beat on Eddie and his wife. And if you don't know who Eddie is, that is one of the owners of Kick. Eddie, bring me on Kick. I'm gonna come to Australia and beat on you. Word of my mother. I'm gonna beat on you and your wife. <laughs> Eddie, fuck your wife now. You got me mad, you know what I'm being me? Now I'm gonna say fuck your wife, white nigga. The man as a whole was just a weirdo. Another streamer that she had to also fight tooth and nail to ban was this one 11 year old streamer on the platform. And yes, you heard that correctly. An 11 year old streamer. Basically, there was a staff member promoting this 11 year old kick streamer on twitter while the age to stream on kick is literally 13 and the reason she knew that this kid was 11 was because she checked his facebook page and i'm actually taking a peek at this right now and it looks like this man just turned 11 june 1st that is crazy and what's even crazier is that this man got unbanned and he streamed two hours ago like kick let the man off the hook whole time this man is literally going against their tos their tos literally says that you got to be 13 years old yet this man is streaming at 11 11 years old it makes no sense at all i don't think kick knows that if they make these rules they gotta enforce them as well especially when it comes to an 11 year old streaming if the age says 13 and this kid is 11 ban him like what the heck i personally think that 11 years old is too young to stream especially on kick but yeah those are like some of the key points in the video if you want to check out the full video i'm gonna link it in the description if i'm being real i believe a majority of it because i mean when you look at what goes on on the platform of kick these these claims that she's making like they're not too far off obviously some of these things we need evidence for but at the same time like bro when you look at kick and you look at what goes on on the platform they legit let these pedos run wild on that platform zerka and heel mike were making pedo jokes all the time i'm a pedophile i'm crazy <laughs> i'm horny for some babies you had dudes freaking drinking and driving. All this stuff that she's saying is not too hard to believe, if I'm being completely honest. Like, just look at the platform, look at the people running it, and just listen to the things she's saying. I honestly think she's probably right. Like, let's be real. Overall, I think there's really no coming back for the website of Kick itself. Because, I mean, it's literally known for having a bad reputation. And there's no way to, like, fix the reputation, you know? From the jump, people were just doing these wild things because, I mean, it was Twitch with no TOS. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think the... The, the, the whole platform needs to get shut down. No cap. That is the only thing that I have to say about it. The girl's description of kick workplace mine is exactly what do you imagine kick workplace to be? Oh, yeah. Figure is ran by uh, four streamers. Kick always has been lazy on a Twitch for people who want to be legit credit. Oh, God. Like, what? What are these people really even get this shit off? Like the whole platform needs to be shut down in, in general. Anybody who got a problem with my fucking opinion, come say something about it in my comments. I'm going to keep this shit hundred percent. The shit needs to be gone. It's dookie garbage. Like what? You literally let breaking like you said, breaking TOA, letting an eleven year old stream, got pedophiles on there got dudes who we literally i said go find him and ban him on every single platform no queso but queso I'm like yeah like what what is we really even talking about like it's your boy ogt man signing out that's that just threw me all the way off ew like why is it even still here